Hey everyone, so IMC7 was released on September 30th, 2013. One of the major new enhancements in this release is moving to a full HTML5 interface. As well, there's been a lot of other feature enhancements, and in this video, we'll give you a quick tour of what's new. So as you can see right from the get-go, IMC has a new look and feel. This is based on a new HTML5 technology, and if you don't have a supported browser, you can always click on Firefox down here below and install one. So we're going to log in with the admin admin default username and credentials. So here we are on the IMC homepage. There's a lot of good information here. This is the executive view, giving you an overview of the health of your network overall, as well as the individual components. We can click on the star and go down into the themes, and this is where we can change the whole look and feel of IMC. So this is one of the benefits of HTML5, not to mention the fact that we can also now detect the device being used to access IMC and give a device appropriate interface for mobile phones or for tablets. One of the other advantages to moving to HTML5 is allowing us to now have HTML5 topologies right within the IMC main window. So when we go into our custom views here, we can go and look at an individual custom view and of course click on the more button and always get some, some ability to, to affect an individual device. But we can also click on the topologies button here at the top and get a full topology and, and a view of what exactly is in this particular custom view. Down here in the bottom right hand corner we have the ability to collapse the entire window and give us a pure focus area so that we can see just what we want to look at in the main focus area. We can move the devices over and, and right click, left click, all the abilities we had in our traditional Java based topologies and have those available within the new HTML5 topology which of course allows us to view this on devices which don't support Java. Moving to the top of the screen, we still have the link management, MSTP instance, as well as the ability to add notes. So this is a new feature within IMC. So let's add a note here. This gives us the ability to put information on the topology map for other users so they can see later or just make notes for yourself. So in this point, um, I'm just going to make this a lab network. And this becomes an object that I can move around as needed as well. As well, I can always click on the Find button and find any device within my network. Put in the IP address, 10.101.0.221, and this will locate the specific device that I want to, want to uh, affect. One of the other things is the topology integrity analysis. So this was introduced in IMC 5.2 and this allows IMC to go out and discover devices that it doesn't know about using layer 2 neighboring protocols such as CDP and LLDP as well as provide you some additional information on what the device is that we gather through those layer 2 neighboring protocols. So now we're going to open up the windows again here. And we're going to look at one of the other enhancements, which is around the VLAN Manager. So VLAN Manager has been around for a while. One of the nice enhancements is the VLAN topology, which is also available in HTML5. And we've introduced the ability to identify the VLAN not just by its .1Q VLAN ID, but also by the name. This is going to be extremely useful when troubleshooting 802.1x environments when deploying VLAN by the name. It's always difficult to tell when you have a VLAN of different names and this allows us to do this throughout the entire multi-vendor network. As you can see here, we've got multiple different instances of VLAN 202 as well as VLAN 99. So if I was deploying based on name, this wouldn't work on some devices and it would on others. So this is really going to be a nice piece of functionality to be able to clean up your environment and make sure that you have a consistent environment, which is one of the best things you can do for your network stability and availability. One of the last enhancements that I wanted to showcase today is the process all alarms feature which is underneath the system tab. So it's not uncommon for people who first imp implement IMC to not really have a handle on what's going on in their environment and start getting a lot of alarms. So to be able to deal with this we now have the ability to go into the system tab and click on acknowledge all which will acknowledge all the alarms as well we can also recover all the alarms and this will be done based on the user ID so in this case admin 
will be known as the and, and recorded as the user ID who has dis recovered and acknowledged all these for tracking purposes and auditing purposes later on. So this has been a quick introduction into IMC 7 and we're going to be continuing this and looking at more detailed features in further videos in the near future. See you guys next time on the next IMC management tutorial.